Oh, merde. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Skelet Cool. Today we're gonna do yet another episode in uh, my Palette Infinity series around the Arcana Palette from Shroud Cosmetics. So today we're gonna do something a bit more glam, a bit more warm, a bit more summery and probably there will be some blush draping action happening. So stay tuned for that. Before we get started, if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Celeste. Feels weird saying that, but it felt good. <laughs> uh, I love cruelty-free makeup, skincare, and septum piercings. And I know, I know, it's probably one of the most polarizing piercings that exists, but if you don't like it, it's just that you don't understand how good they are. Ah, oh, it just looks so good and cute on everyone. I just, I can't. So if you are interested in any of these topics, hobbies, whatever you want to call them, then consider subscribing for more similar content. I would love to have you here. Let's get started into the makeup action. Hi, Ansem. I've got a septum piercing, obviously, if you haven't seen. I'm so obsessed with it. But bottom. I am so obsessed with it. It's just I'm so glad I did it and honestly I feel like it's 100 percent worth it because the actual pain of doing it is way less than I thought it was, similar to getting a low piercing, which I did the other side so I can wear earrings. And honestly, so far the healing time has been almost two weeks now. It's more uncomfortable than it is painful. But it's nothing like my... I got two helixes here done, the two at the same time. It was horrible. Sorry, I was going back to the makeup. Arcana palette. We're gonna play with these kind of warmer tones here. So what I'm thinking is Entity again as a um, blending shade, just as a base. Alto would be kind of like the main transition shade. Secret could be used as a accent color. I like to kind of do a blurred wing, if that makes sense. And this would be kind of in a cut crease style in the inner lid. And this, like that would be the main kind of color. And this would be used as Enchantress, would be used as a way of blending between familiar and sacred. So kind of just to blend on the outside. So I'm hoping I can achieve that. This is actually the second time I'm trying to film this uh, because the first time I did it, I was really not happy with what I've done. I was just getting frustrated. It was not a good day for me. So uh, I've practiced it and I think I have a better like plan on how I want to do things. So hopefully, hopefully that will work. And this time I'm, I'm gonna just, you know, trust the process even if I don't like it right from the get go. I'm gonna drink a bit of water, that's okay. Urban Decay, Primer Potion, Eden, etc. Just gonna apply a little bit on my lid. Oh, and I forgot to say, Alter will be used as a blush today. So it will be like a blush draping action into the eyeshadow. So the overall look, I want to be very kind of, like, <clears throat> summery, warm, but very blushed up and just very blended, but kind of glam with a little bit of structure in places, mainly with the cut crease and the kind of outer blurred wing, if that makes sense. But still very blended, almost kind of soft glam situation, but very colorful, which is not soft glam, but you get what I mean. <laughs> While that sets, I'm gonna just prime my face with the ELF Polish Primer. Uh, the reason why I'm using this one is because I'm gonna wear a very glowy foundation because I want, again, the look to be very summery. So with a lot of my, um, with a lot of my dewy foundation, I like using a, this primer because I find it helps smooth so it doesn't look as textured with like the reflection of the foundation. I also find that it helps kind of, because usually do your foundation kind of like to sell into my, 
two lines here and emphasize them. So I find that if I use this primer, it helps the, I don't find that primer to be as like pot filling it. I find it to be more of a smoothing primer, if that makes sense. So I think if you have more texture, this would help. I think it just helps the foundation kind of like even more. I'm using dirty brushes because I'm really running low on them and this is what I used last time. Um, cool, I'm gonna use uh, a Delium 2776, which is a flat blending brush. And we're gonna, once again, surprise, surprise, pick up Entity. I just want this like sleigh that just blown all over. It's just to kind of help blend things. Really smoking this out um, on the outer lid, like quite generously, like so. Now that we've got that base color, I'm gonna pick up Alta, that kind of orangey shade. I really like that shade, it's very pretty. I'm just gonna reinforce what I've done. Uh, kind of like, just blowing it almost everywhere, but just like, Stopping like a step before the where the yellow stops to kind of blend them together. That makes sense Lovely, um, I'm now gonna pick up uh, A small kind of a liner kind of brush. This is the 716 from Derrick Tools It's a smoky liner. So it's like kind of a pointy brush, but kind of thicker than a, just a liner brush We're gonna pick up Sacred and now I'm gonna use that to create like a wing-like shape, kind of blurred. Taking that uh, shape until like where my eyes starts to dip back to kind of create like a, a kind of elongated eye because it follows that shape, if that makes sense. It's like the curves goes like this and then there's the liner kind of goes like this. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's kind of how I see it. We're gonna clean up after, so it's fine if the wing is like very thick on the outside, because yeah, we're gonna clean up. I'm gonna also kind of take the shape kind of inwards, kind of creating almost a, a crease, like a cut crease shape, like so. Not to define, like the further you go inside, the less defined it is, if that makes sense. Cool, and now I'm gonna pick up <clears throat> uh, a small blending brush, this is the E27 from um, Sigma, and I'm gonna pick up the tiniest little color and just very slowly, like very softly blend uh, this red shade into the rest. So just a tiny bit and just like basically going over it, patting to blend and just making like tiny little movements. Cool, I'm quite happy with this, I think. Uh, let's put on some shimmer and see how it goes. I'm just gonna maybe help define a bit more that shape on the outside because it, it's not as good as I would like it to be. I'm gonna pick up like a medium sized flat brush uh, packing brush and I'm gonna pick up some glitter primer. This is from NYX. I forgot to say like a few times. When I say glitter primer, I mean the NYX glitter primer. With that thing, some of the brands do make some, but a little doll up like this. And I'm gonna use that to carve like the shape and kind of create a full, like a cut crease shape. So staying on the inside and I'm gonna follow like basically my eye shape, but also like the line I've created, like stopping where the line I've created is. And now I'm gonna pick up Familiar, which is the pinky shade on the same sticky side. And I'm now gonna follow that inner corner shape. This is gonna go almost on the entire lid. As a clear the idea is to kind of create like a crescent, croissant, croissant shape. Uh, and basically it kind of goes all the way, but the further you go, the thinner it gets. And then that's where the other shade is gonna come in to like blend together, if that makes sense. 
So for example here it's very thick on the inner corner but then when you go a bit further here it's going to be like a very fine line so go all, almost all the way but the more you get there the thinner it gets. Does that make sense? And I'm going to pick up uh, Enchantress which is that ruby kind of color on the other side of that brush. And I'm going to use it to merge together the sacred red shade, matte shade, with the shimmer. So kind of going over the two in between in a kind of wing shape, like so. It's the opposite for that one, so the closer you get to the inner corner, the thinner it gets. But when it's like more on the outside, it gets a bit thicker. Cool, and then I'm gonna just kind of pick up a little bit of each color on each side of the brush. I'm gonna kind of alternate in between to kind of merge these two color together. Now uh, I'm gonna pick up again, again my little liner brush and I'm just gonna pick up more sacred and redefine my outer wing and just help blend these colors together. And I'm also gonna kind of go in over where the shimmer and the matte meet on the country side to kind of create an overlay of like a darker color to kind of define it better. And I'm gonna go back with my small blending brush where I use Sacred. I'm just gonna pack a bit more Sacred on the outside and then kind of go over again that liner to blur it a bit. Awesome, I think I'm quite happy with this. So it's quite pretty. I'm gonna go off camera, repeat that on the other eye, throw on some foundation, and then be back to kind of sh keep with the makeup thing. Hello back. Um, I look a bit crazy, but it's fine. We're gonna put on some makeup and like <laughs> get rid of that. Uh, FYI, what I've done is I used a glow foundation, Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation, Luminous foundation with CYO long lasting foundation. I mix them to lighten up the ABH one because it's too a bit too dark for me. I use a cream blush to kind of create a bit of a base to kind of help blend when we do some blush draping. This is from Flower Beauty. It's the Blush Balm in Nectar, which is like a nice peachy color. Uh, and I set my face with a new combo I really like, which is the Milani Prep Set Glow uh, setting powder and the NYX High Glass Foundation. So I mix them to kind of set the perimeter of my face. Uh, NYX Blurring HD powder in the center to... Yeah, let's finish up the eye now. I'm gonna pick up Sacred again on that, the red on the uh, little eyeliner brush, I'm just gonna press this against my lower lash line on the outer side. Connecting it with the work I did earlier. Next, uh, I'm gonna just blur slightly with no product, just that blending brush we used earlier for the red. Lovely, and now we're gonna go into the bigger blending brush I used. I'm gonna pick up Alta, which is the orange shade, just on the tip and blend that on the lower lash line. Really close to the lower lash line. And now I'm gonna go into Entity the Yellow the light touch again. I'm just gonna go over the edges on the top because we're gonna do some uh, blush draping on the other side, so it's not as necessary, but it's just to help blend a bit. These edges. Also patting a little bit of entity on the lower lash line, just in the inner corner to blend. Cool, and now I'm just gonna pick up a bigger blending brush and just like a clean one and just kind of go over the edges. Especially at the front here and here. Especially 
actually here. Lovely, I think that's not too bad. Let's uh, jump into our blush draping action, I think. So I'm gonna pick up, I try with like a small, like a big eye blending brush, but like a small brush for blush. And I just, I find it to be quite patchy on me. So I think it, it was also quite warm though, so I was like sweating, so that didn't help. But I think I'm just gonna pick up like a, a bigger brush, but still quite a small brush. This is by the way, the contour brush, I think from, yeah, Real Techniques. Picking up a tiny bit of Alter. And we're gonna place, we're gonna blush with this. Pretty much over the cheekbone really close to the lower lash line, basically. Let me move the camera away a bit. Sorry, that must be a bit bare. So. And now we're gonna do the actual blush draping. So what I'm gonna do is pick up like, on the edge of my blush brush, I'm gonna pick up uh, some color and just kind of go against my lower lash line, but just on the outside like this, just to kind of blend my blush into the eyeshadow. And now wherever is left over, I'm just gonna kind of go onto my forehead in kind of a 80s style. I'm just gonna go back into my big fluffy uh, bron bronzer brush to kind of help. I really like this. That's beautiful. And with the concentrate, I really like how it's kind of concentrated on the like, like on the kind of outer part more and just really emphasizes the work on the eye. I really like that. Awesome. I'm just gonna go back with a little bit more secret just to reinforce where the red was, just to reinforce the shape we had. But barely going over the edges because we want to keep that kind of blur and blend, if that makes sense. I really like this look. I'm very happy with it actually. I think I would done myself, if I can say so myself. <laughs> cool. Um, let's finish the blush action with a little bit of butter blush from Physician's Formula in Nude Silk, not cruelty free. And just as a topper to kind of give a bit more of a glow. Cool. Uh, let's do some um, highlighter. This is Revolution Reloaded Highlighter in just my tab. It's like a peachy color. Let's use that as a inner corner highlight as well. Um, let's spray her down. Cool, let me put on some mascara, maybe a pair of lashes, some eyeliner, and then we'll regroup for like a little lip moment together. Hello back, I had a little bit of an accent and I wanted to just uh, conceal a spot by making it look like a beauty mark. And then I tried to blend it and it looked like shite. So I had to kind of create a bit of freckles even though I was not planning that, but just a little bit, looks cute, you know. Cool, um, the lashes I went with are the Aldel Whispers to kind of give like a natural, but like kind of lift, just like cutesy, you know, look. Uh, let's finish with the lip. We're gonna do something very simple for the lip. I'm gonna wear a glass, can you believe? I almost never wear a glass, but Kaleido's got me into glasses. So I'm just gonna align my lips with the uh, Escape Lip Liner from Dose of Colors, which is like a little peachy color. Voila. And now I'm gonna go over with a gloss. This is the Lucid Lip Lip Gloss from Kaleido's in the shade Dramatize. It's like a kind of strawberry red, but like, uh, gold and fuchsia sparkles in it. I love this gloss, especially when I do a new kind of warm. Don't 
Do I look okay in a glass? I don't know, I was feeling a glass because I thought it'd be nice with like my, I know I'm obsessed with that, sorry, with my septum piercing. I think it would kind of like create an accent here and kind of go into a triangular shape almost with like the focus here and then into the lip with the reflection. Oh yes, yes, that's, that's what I needed. Cool, I think I've done myself because I really love this look and I'm not really into these tones usually. Uh, I think this is absolutely stunning. <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs> cool, that's the end of the video. Please let me know what you thought about this look. If you enjoy the video, if there's any color you'd like to see next, I'm probably gonna go into the blues because I think that's pretty much the only color we haven't explored so far. If you want to support me and my channel, please give this video a like, leave a comment telling me your thoughts, what you for everything. Not only do I love chatting with you folks and also answering your comments, but it's also that any engagement with this video gives me visibility in the YouTube algorithm and that's always appreciated. If you don't know what comment to, but you still want to support me, you can leave this emoji as a comment and I really thank you for your efforts. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you very, very soon. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.